So you know, sometimes Facebook and I... So hopefully, now this will connect. <laughs> Anyways, come find me again, round two. So those of you that um, are signing on, welcome back to our almost 60th Tech Talk Live. And uh, today's special guest is an amazing award winner. Her year this year is on fire. And actually, she's been on fire since she started competing in the nail industry. And it's Scarlet Center. So I cannot wait to introduce you guys to Miss Scarlet. Let's bring her on now. So hopefully... It's working. Yay, at last. Yay. And we have comments. Hi, Sarah. Thank you guys for joining in. So good afternoon or over where you, you are in the UK. It's the evening. Is that correct? Yeah, it's half past seven. Yes. Hi, Gail. <laughs> Miss Rosanna, you guys, thanks so much for joining in. There's always sometimes a little bit of a glitch when we're joining up, but it looks like everybody's here. Layla's even joining us, Scarlett. Oh, I literally just spoke to her on WhatsApp. Hi, babe. <laughs> so wonderful. So those of you who have not met our special <laughs> guest, you need to do some Facebook, Instagram stalking because Scarlett centers on fire right now in our industry. Mm. And yes. So I'm excited to be able to hear more about you. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're going to bully and peer pressure you. <laughs> yeah. So, so Scarlett, welcome to Tech Talk Live. This is almost our 60th edition, or I guess edition couldn't be an episode, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So oh, Scarlett, I see that you've been licensed. Oh. oh no, are we having a delay? So you've been licensed no, for we're eight right and a half now. Okay. years. And you've been competing, however, yep. for six of those years. So let's go back and find out more about you. How did you even get started in the beauty industry? Um, well, obviously I have my son um, and obviously I was at home a lot. And I used to get my nails done, you know, every so often. And yeah, it just really went from there. I needed something to do, something to focus on other than my, my son. And it just went from there. And I started doing nails. And then obviously I found a nail art course. And then I found Gemma on YouTube, Gemma Lambert. And it, it literally, I found it and it was like, oh my God, I love this. And yeah, it just went from there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And isn't it so true that it almost takes somebody to inspire us or be our little hidden mentor? They don't even know that they've yeah. inspired us so much. Yeah, and so, Gemma, um, Gemma was a big one. Um, and Kirsty, like, yeah, them two were the main ones. And I was just like, I, I need to do what they're doing. Yes, absolutely. And not only are you doing that, but are you doing so much more? And so you started mm -hmm. I think I, I think you told me like 2012 and so you had only been licensed for about two and a half years yeah. was it just a local show that you decided to go for it were you invited like were you a part of a team how did you start competing <laughs> um I found Beauty UK in Birmingham and I loved seeing all the mixed medias and I done I think the theme was chocolate and uh, yeah, I just thought, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. I've got absolutely nothing to lose. It's something I just love doing. Um, obviously you can do it in your own time. And yeah, I just, I just went for it. I think that's something you just have to do. You just have, if, you, if it's something that you wanna do, you've just gotta forget all the nerves and just do it. It's so true. I am known for kind of pushing people a little bit in a kind way to get out there mm -hmm. and just just try it. And what you just said is exactly it. If there's a local competition or something, you just got to do. So what was your first competition? That was it. The Birmingham one, like my proper competition to be judged by obviously like, I think Gemma was a judge. I'm pretty sure Kirsty was a judge as well. I can't think who else, but 
I remember walking around the show and I think I spotted Kirsty and I was like, oh, oh my God, it's Kirsty Nikon. <laughs> but yeah, and I just got hooked. I just got absolutely hooked. And then just done obviously loads and loads of training. I did go um, all the way up to Stoke, which I think is about three, three and a half hours for me. And I did do a one-to-one -one with Kirsty. So that was like amazing for me. But yeah. That was not to give one. you any anxiety, but Kirsty's watching us right now. Hi, Kirsty. <laughs> <laughs> and so, did you, you did you enter like pink and whites? Did you do fantasy, the gel polish? Oh, I done the mixed media. Mm -hmm. I yeah. done the mixed media, and, and looking back at it now, it was shocking. <laughs> <laughs> but we all start from somewhere, so yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, it's kind of interesting that, so a lot of people have messaged me and said, Amy, you need to get Scarlet Center on Tech Talk Live. And when I messaged you about it, you were blown away. You really were like, why me? Why this? And I want to help people understand why you, like you, yeah. or help you understand why you, everybody yeah. else seems to know. So you know how you just talked about Kirsty. It's the exact same way with you. We look at you through those same, you know, glasses of like, wow, you're such an inspiration to us. And so with that being said, have you realized that since you've gotten more recognized in the nail industry, even through social media platforms and stuff, that more people are following you and saying, thank you for inspiring me. And that they're now seeing you at shows going, oh, it's Scarlet Center. Yeah, it, it, it is crazy um so beauty uk this year i was actually on a stand with crystal parade and i had a couple of girls come up to me and they were like oh can i get a picture and i'm like oh my god like and i do get the odd messages like on instagram saying like how i've inspired them and it is it's so heartwarming and like literally i am just doing my job and obviously it's a hobby and i love competing like it's just like a bonus to be able to inspire other people but it, it's it, I don't really see it like that because I am just me I mean you asked Layla we have the most randomest conversations and I am literally just <laughs> just doing what I'm doing really but it is it is lovely yeah yeah so just so you guys know Scarlett had no clue why we would want to do an interview with her so while you guys are on here we need to, to let her know that this is why and that you are somebody that we want to know more about. And so out of all the awards that you've won, this year has been obviously your top year for that as well. What's your favorite award? Um, it was probably my first award, um, which was 2014 at the Scratch Stars Awards. I see it come up on social media that you can enter. Me being me, again, you've, you've got nothing to lose, everything to gain, and I entered. Um, my husband, like, he comes everywhere with me to compete. Like, he must hate me, but he's so supportive. He's so, so supportive. And I remember I went and competed in London, and I come out and he met me. He's like, how'd you get on? And I was like, awful, absolutely awful. <laughs> My nerves, I had, um, you have to go and have an interview after you've done like your hour practical. And there was three judges at the table and I had a panic attack and one of the judges had to give me a clipboard. Um, but yeah, um, obviously went to the awards and I won Nail Artist of the Year. And I think the year before, I think Kirsty had won it. Um, and obviously that was my first award. And I, I remember going up and I was absolutely shaking. My husband was crying and yeah I should think that's my all-time number one yeah oh that's awesome and that was just getting started I mean you just won nail tech of the year you've had covers for like scratch I mean you really are living the dream that so many of us techs would yeah. love to have but you're so humble by that I, I agree somebody said you're so humble and I'm like, exactly I'm that awesome. like I love that you're just getting started, and but yet you're such an inspiration to all of us and that you're still real. And so yeah. speaking of real things, anxiety has come up multiple times. Mm -hmm. And uh, I definitely want to touch base on that because 
you know, you and I have both have different parts in our careers and we both still get the anxiety and people are like, yeah, but you're top, you're already doing this. Yeah. It doesn't make the anxiety go away. You just push through it and decide yeah. that that's not going to hold you back today. And so can you touch base a little bit more on like your part with anxiety? Um, well, I started getting anxiety about 12 and a half years ago and I didn't understand what it was. Um, it took, I think it was about three years ago, I actually had CBT, which is, I think, cognitive behavioral therapy. And I think I had about two sessions and he told me I have health anxiety. So I could get like a pain somewhere and I think it's something really serious. Um, don't get me wrong. Some people might think, oh, you're a bit of a hypochondriac then, but it's yeah. not that at all. It's, it's really, really hard. And actually, like I said to you before, a couple of weeks ago, um, I had some stuff go on and my health anxiety really, really kicked in. Um, I was really, really emotional. Um, it's really, really, it's hard to explain, but the thing that pulled me through it and a hundred percent is the girls who I am so close to in the industry, um, like Layla, um, Katie, Gail Nichols, Joe Taylor, they were messaging and calling me every day and they were just there. Like I'd ring Joe up and she'd uh, like FaceTime her and I'd just be crying and she'd just sit there and, and like listen to me. And the same with Layla, they, they'd all be like it. And I'd ramble and ramble and I'd have anxiety. And it's amazing to have that friendship in this industry. Like it's not, I don't think it's recognized enough. Mm -hmm. because they've been such a massive support to me in the last few weeks and obviously they the girls know like if they ever ever have any problems like they've only literally just got to ring me so yeah, yeah I love that support system and like what you're talking about some of them aren't even right next to you in your town like this is a support system that ties in through using you know our phones or the video yeah, call well, Layla's, like Layla's up in Scotland um you've got Joe down in Essex um Gail and um Katie are like Birmingham way so they're like nowhere near me but they are always there on the other end of the phone oh Gail <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so so true and Kim says friendships in the industry is so big to me and I completely is, yeah. That. yeah yeah Definitely. and so um I know I've shared a few times about my health issues and um, they really came to a peak about seven years ago. And I thought forever and ever, it was just anxiety. It was anxiety that I would be doing a client and then the next one would come early and I'm not done and ready for them. And I'd get red and flush and nervous. And, and yeah. uh, so then you realize that you gotta change your scheduling, you know, that you have to work with the anxiety side of it. I actually found out I actually truly have a condition and it's not anxiety but it comes across like that where your heart palpitates I pass out I you know it's a real thing and I it's, actually quit competing because I could not overcome it when it comes to competitions yeah. but I also have a team of people around me and I've learned that yeah. you know what with this team it can let you go a little bit further and know that you're not alone in this mm -hmm. that half the people these competitions or half the nail techs in the world we get anxiety with any new client that walks on we get anxiety every time we compete it's real and it affects your health overall and so I love that how you said that of being able to get your team around you and talk with them and kind of work past that yeah because, well it's it's funny because at Birmingham this year I I think it's my first time doing the live floor competitions um, so I entered four competitions in two days and um, my anxiety was like up here. But when we obviously went to the ceremony bit on the Sunday and the Monday, like Layla and Gail and that, they were all next to me because my husband usually comes with me and he didn't this year. Um, I'd gone up there on my own and obviously I had my model with me as well. But if it weren't for them, I probably would have like, <laughs> yeah exactly that yeah uh, yeah us girls we did we got to stick together and you know what's really cool is you mentioned your husband and all of that and I know that you're a mom as well and so that support system you know that you can have from your family if you you know if you haven't found them in your salon he's or with amazing. your friends he's amazing we won't tell him that though but yeah he is <laughs> he is he oh. is amazing yeah so are you working in a salon as well yeah, I work with one of my close friends who does eyelashes and eyebrows. So 
I've got like my own room and stuff. And you know what? I've been working from home for a few years and I, my husband built me a cabin, bless him. And I thought, oh, do you know what? That would be brilliant for me because I'm actually outside the house. Obviously, I was in my garden, but um, yeah, I got offered to obviously join and go into the shop with her, and it has been the best thing. Like, I just, I feel more confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what, that that comes with, once again, the salon team part of it, because you get the confidence from the clients when they continue to choose you as coming back, but working together in a salon, I miss, I miss my team of girls, because if yeah. we had a new idea or something that just didn't go right, we worked with each other and that helped build the confidence we can surpass anything that came our way. Yeah. North go. I'm the bag of nerves sometimes competing in Scarlet Keeps Me Calm. Aww. <laughs> yeah. That's so wonderful. I absolutely love stuff like that. We actually um, sat next to each other on one of the competitions in Birmingham. And I'm like, are you all right, yeah. Gail? And she's like, yeah, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you start elbowing each other, like, sh you know, or make funny faces, do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was great. It really was great, yeah. Oh, I love stuff like that. So um, you're on, I saw that you're on YouTube, but you only have a few videos uploaded on there. But you're on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Yep. And um, you even created a gem collection of the Cheshire Cat for the nail team. That was a fine song. <laughs> the gem collection. Yeah, and so you, um, you, it, you got to do the Cheshire Cat collection for the nail team. How fun was that? Um, it's, it's actually for um, Crystal Parade. Um, what happened is, sorry, my dog is ripping the heck out of his toy under my feet, and there is <laughs> fluff. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, what happened is I got front cover of Scratch magazine and I used Crystal Parade crystals. And Poppy, who owns Crystal Parade, reached out to me and she's like, Oh my god, thank you for like obviously giving us a mention. And since then, like I work alongside with her and, and she's amazing. Like the whole Crystal Parade team are so amazing um and we she asked me if I wanted to do something with them and I'm a massive massive Alice in Wonderland fan I I absolutely love it and we created the Wonderland collection so um that took off I mean I think we had um a mix called Alice and Alice's Big Adventure and I think she said it sold out within like a couple of days which is it's crazy, but we've just um, done four new mixes as well. So I'm excited to see how they do. Oh my goodness, that's so awesome. When you look for inspiration to do your nail art and stuff like that, like what's a go-to? Do you do like Pinterest or fabric? What Just what inspires um, you? I do look on Pinterest, but I love doing tattoo design nail art. I love doing all the skulls and the black and white and the shading and stuff like that. That is my like all time fave. So I'm always looking at um, like tattoo designs of skulls and stuff, definitely. Oh, wonderful. I just entered in, and so Nails Magazine did a thing of a, oh, there was a Picasso challenge, but there was a face-off challenge. And I thought, yep. you know what, I'm just going to give this a try, and I'm going to challenge other people to join in with me. And we actually just submitted them in, so we don't know who won or anything like that. But I was looking for inspiration of who to do. And I finally decided if I'm going to be that frustrated working on something, I'm going to pick something that's going to make me laugh and it's going to yeah. inspire me more. So I chose Albert Einstein with his tongue sticking out. Oh, and I, I can tell I you that. that every time I got frustrated doing that, it did make me laugh. It's amazing. Pulling our inspiration from things like, like you, you did Alice in Wonderland. You love the show. You're inspired by that. Every time you might watch a show or see a fabric on one of our dresses, it's going to inspire you to do more. And it's a happy inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit more, too. Um, you know, social media has definitely changed things in our industry, and you kind of have to be in the know anymore with Facebook and Instagram, especially. And so mm -hmm. how do you go about with posts? How do you go about like knowing what to post? Do you use watermarks? Do you have a certain pose that you do? 
Um, I usually have about three different poses. Um, <clears throat> and I do, obviously I do use watermarks because um, I, think, I think I've only had it once happen. Someone had took my image and obviously palmed it as their own, but obviously this is ages ago. So I do always like use that. <laughs> that is my dog. That's just how live goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say hi to Toby. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? I've got two, but he sounds like a real big nasty dog. He is a chihuahua. <laughs> and then I've got a pug who doesn't bark, who's the one that's ripping up his toy. <laughs> but I yeah, um... Love it. Um, 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 what was we saying? Yeah, I use obviously watermarks and stuff. Um, I have about three different poses because guarantee I'll do one pose and by the time I go and look at it and obviously go to put my watermark, it, it's a bit blurry. So I always, I think I'll take about 50 different pictures to be honest with you before I pick like the one. But yeah, I'm always posting on Instagram, always post. I think that's my main one. And then I think that is also connected to my page as well. So it automatically goes on there. Yeah. Good Layla. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, I was live. Kim is on here as well. And I was live with Kim earlier. And her four dogs were creating a muck. And so she was like, that one picks on that one. And then that one picks on that one. And so. Yeah, I, it, it's it, terrible. Pig. Yeah. And she just does this yeep, yeep, yeep and gets excited. So I miss having um, dogs. But I'm kind of happy sometimes just to have <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'd love another dog, but my husband won't let it. He won't allow it. If you could have another dog, what would you get? Probably a Staffy, because I know I'd get away with that. Because my <laughs> husband loves them. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. You might have so, to yeah. that. My that's daughter triggering. wants a Husky, though, and I'm like, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the salon... When you're working on a client, do you kind of brag about yourself and say, hey, I just won Nail Tech of the Year. How do you bring yeah. it up to your clients and how do they react to that? Like, oh my gosh, you're doing my nails and you're so significant. I never, like if I get a client walk in, I don't ever say, oh my God, guess what? I've won blah, blah, blah. I, I just I physically can't do it. But um, obviously I've got my trophies in the salon um, and my medal, some of my medals are above me and and they'll obviously see things on social media and they'll be like, oh my God, you know, you're amazing. Like, oh my God, you must be so happy. And then obviously we start talking about it, but I do get, I do get embarrassed, I suppose. I'm just a bit like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, huh? Yeah, I every now and then I'll, like one of my clients will be like, what's your Tech Talk live show or what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, it's just an online thing where I interview, you know, people from the nail industry and editors and stuff. And they're like, oh, okay. And they're like, like, that's kind of big, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't, yeah. I can't, I literally cannot do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that. And then when it comes to, so I have a little bit of an OCD. So when it comes to the certificates and all that, none of them match and they're all mismatchy in size. Oh, Scarlett, come join us again. Oh, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> and so it drives me crazy that there's no rhyme or reason to them. So I don't have them up because I don't tie into like my fun decor. <laughs> so I don't even To be honest, all my, all my certificates are in a folder. Mm-hmm. I have a couple up, um, like if I've done ones recently, I usually just put them up for a little while, but um, no, they do go all in a folder. Yeah. The other, day I <laughs> the other day I was showing um, a nails magazine that, um, or actually it was a nail pro magazine and I had a feature in there and it was from 1998. And so it was so funny to look at the ads because some of the ads are exactly the same for like Orly, OPI, you know, Cuccio's T3 and all that kind of stuff. And so sometimes we need to show that we're changing in the industry. Cause I said, if you walked into a doctor's office and you saw on his wall, all these significant awards, but they were from the seventies, would yeah. you still see them and respect them as if they had current awards? So sometimes we need to take the older awards and like I said, put them in a binder or make them where they're mm -hmm. still accessible. But all the newer stuff we do need to hang up and show our worth with that. Yeah, 
definitely and obviously to prove that we are always still learning as well definitely yeah yeah excellent so have you changed i know people are going to ask this have you changed your prices um in your salon from you know throughout these years or do you still compete I've with everything i literally just changed my prices yeah yeah. And that was really scary. I haven't done it for ages. And my clients would come in and I'd be like, just so you know, my prices have gone up. But they're like, oh, that's fine. You know, you, you do all this and you win in this. She said, it's, you know, they're, they're completely fine. And they, they are. I'm so lucky. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Thank you. Sleeping. It's all good. As long as you can keep coming back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know the struggle is real. I know even yeah. if we're in a salon working on a client, you know how somebody might walk in and when they want to look at retail and the phone rings and all of that. Don't you realize that we really have to learn how to like multitask everything that we do? And this is a perfect example and just ride through it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Layla's given us a laugh. And so yeah. You know, some of these people that you've met in the industry, did you meet them because you went to shows? Did you find them on social media and then you guys met mm -hmm. up at other times? Like, how did you meet Layla? How did I meet Layla? Um, oh, my God. I can't actually remember. Um, she entered a competition. I'm sure it was this year. I've obviously been friends with her on Facebook for a while, but it was, I think, the beginning of this year. What she put? You get some dickheads. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, <laughs> she is one bless her. No, we met the beginning of this year on, on um, social media. We started speaking, and then we were FaceTiming, and literally, we've since then we've just got on like a house on fire. She's nuts. I'm nuts. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> we <are trying. laughs> Oh my yes, God. you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, you know, being a friend, a mom, a super nail star, a wife and all of that, do you have to find time? Do you have days that you just mark off like today's I'm not working? That's not social media and all that. Or do you have you found a little bit of system to juggle all of that? <laughs> I'm going to shoot my phone in a minute. It keeps beeping at me. <laughs> I have just changed my work hours um so I work Monday to Friday and I actually have my weekends off now Sunday is my day of trying to put my phone away and I am getting better with it but um obviously this day and age we're all blah, 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 blah. but um because obviously I suffered bad with my anxiety recently I've learned a lot about mindfulness um and stuff like that so I do I'm more aware of taking time out for myself and putting my phone away and obviously doing things with the children. Bearing in mind, my, my children are 13 and 10 now, and my son would much rather, much rather be upstairs on his computer, my daughter outside playing. So it's nice to take that time out for myself. As much as I want to spend it with the kids, they'd rather be like, oh, mom, I'm going to do this. So, yeah. yeah. And so you just find yourself kind of sneaking off like, oh, they're busy for 10 minutes. I can get on there and check, <laughs> check messages. Yeah, well, I've actually, um, I've still got my cabin in the garden, which I'm hoping to do up. So that will be my little chill out area. So, And it's got a lock so I can lock them all out. <laughs> That's so true. Well, my son is now 24 and off doing his own thing. And my daughter just graduated high school. And so I have this whole new a time that I don't know what to do with and I find myself mm -hmm. diving more and more into you know using social media and stuff and I have to tell myself to disconnect and my husband works nights and so he's like sleeping right now and then he's gone all night I have realized that I've sat there for hours answering questions doing different things and didn't do anything else but that and then I feel guilty I feel guilty that I should have been outside I should have just gone for a walk something and so I I keep having these times in my roller coaster life like that to where I'm like no this is not your life what you yeah. need to get back to real life yeah it's easy yeah. to take over yeah I'm really lucky because um I, I live quite 
it's only a little tiny wood, but I love going in the woods. Um, when I take my daughter to school, I go through there every morning. So that's another escape for me. I will go and go for a walk and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, and my dog is like licking my feet and all sorts. <laughs> I love <laughs> So funny. So Rachel says that Layla is lovely, helped me on the first ever competition. I went to her for advice and she took the time to respond when she was so busy. And Rachel, I agree, Layla is such a doll. And so Scarlett, have you, have you had people like private message you and say, hey, I'm gonna go for my first competition. You know, what what should I do? Yeah, I've had a couple, yeah, I have had a couple of people. Like, the thing is that I'm, I'm always there. Like if someone messages me, I do my utmost to respond to them as soon as I can. And I'm more than happy to like help anyone out because I've been in that position. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I do get people asking me and I say it to them every single time. Like when they're like, oh, I don't know whether to enter. And I'm like, you've got nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. And you've got everything, you know, you, you get feedback now. The judges are amazing. And you're only going to get better. We all yeah. start from somewhere, you know, we weren't born to pick up a brush and, and do things perfect. You know, we are constantly, constantly learning and bettering ourselves. So yeah, I'm always telling them, I'm like, do it, you need to do it. I keep telling Layla, I've actually been pressuring her because I'm hoping she's going to enter a competition. And I'm like, you need to do it now, not in a day before the competition. <laughs> Yeah, she will do that. Yes, yes, she does. That's so funny. Um, yeah, we were, she like, well, obviously you're friends with her as well, but she'll message mm -hmm. us and it's like three o'clock in the morning. She's getting on her flight at like seven and she's still finishing up something. So, but at least that, that just do it is still happening. You know, it might not be the right timing. Of course, you'll feel better when you schedule it out and stuff like that. But the yeah. just doing is actually there. Um, yeah, so she said Scarlett has helped me. Oh, she did and still does help me every single competition. I love the relationships that we can create in the nail industry because we all know that it can be a little catty, you know, Absolutely. but I have learned more and more that you might get one or two cattiness, but the thousands of others are really there to help support you. And they want exactly. to the, see the thing that frustrates me is we're all doing the same thing we all love doing the same thing yeah no you know no one is better than someone else you know we like I said everyone starts from somewhere it's just obviously some people have done it like years you know we're all on that ladder and we should all be supporting each other definitely but yeah I, I'm just I'm so so thankful that I have got such amazing friends in this industry it's it's amazing. Yeah. Makes me so proud to like be in the industry as well. Yes, exactly that. Like I can tell you this last year of being more open with me going on, on, you know, live like this has been so rewarding that you don't realize how many people you can connect with. And, um, it's, it, it is an amazing career. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Joe's just um, put, we all want the same thing. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> So Mickey was on her phone and she said her phone went to the phone heaven, but she, then she gets on her computer and logs in. So Mickey is making sure that she's not missing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Becky says nail sisters, my tribe. And I love it. So Becky's getting ready to do a nail show and she was trying to figure out like something to sell, you know, like, I don't know, hats and t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. And so we, we were talking and it's like, you know, what about the, the hashtag? She was like, hashtag nail tech. And I'm like, you know how many people are calling us like tribes now or the sisters? Yeah, or it's, or so, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So she has a line that she just ordered and it says tribe hashtag nail tech. And I cannot mm. wait to get my hand on some of that memory or that. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Layla says, oh, oh, Amy, Scarlett <laughs> is doing a workshop alongside with Katie next week, um, photographic and people to sign up to learn from the best. So that's something I did not know. I didn't under, I didn't know that you were doing workshops. Tell me more about that. Well, Katie is doing um, a course. Um, a photographic course. Um, next, is it next week? It must be. Um, and she's invited me to come along. 
Um, and so basically it's at Katie's um, Academy. There'll be me, her, and then my photographer is coming as well, who is insane. Like she's been my photographer from like day one and seeing her grow and her progress and, and what she does and how she just takes control of the whole thing. Um, like we work so well. So yeah, she's coming on it as well. Um, and I think there's a couple more spaces left actually for that course. So that's on the second and the third. I'm hoping I've got that right. The second and third of August that that is. My dog is trying to hump my leg. Can I just say that? <laughs> it's the heat. It is the heat. He's staring at me. <laughs> oh you would have the cutest oh little person. Oh my god, he hasn't done it for ages and now he's attempting it. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best text I've If I could show ever. you his face right now. <laughs> oh, dearie me. That would only happen to me. I swear. Oh, oh my Scarlett, god. I love it. And you know what? I think every time I've gone on TikTok, there's always something, you know, that comes on that makes it more real. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look, I know next time I'm going to put him away. He's so annoying. But yes, oh. the 2nd and 3rd of August is the photographic course. Um, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so much fun. Um I'm a little bit nervous actually because I don't obviously I haven't ran my, it's not my course it is Katie's course um but obviously I'm just there joining in kind of thing and obviously being there to support and everything so um yeah I'm looking forward to it definitely yeah but once again it's that teamwork of pulling people in together and not being like well this is my course you know you stay away like inviting other people to come in and, and join in with that yeah. Katie's Katie cool. is in she is amazing she's so so talented and me, like I said like me and her are quite close now as well and on her tech talk live he's still laughing at my dog <laughs> yeah, he's just looking at my kneecap <laughs> um um on her tech talk live obviously she said about pushing me and she does push me like she's ruthless like she yeah. will message me. She's like, have you done such and such? And I'm like, no, not yet. And she's like, Scarlett. <laughs> so yeah, but she's amazing. She's amazing. And I, I feel so honored that she's asked me to like join her for this course. So, and it's going to be, it's going to be so much fun because she is so, so super talented. Like she's mm -hmm. works and travels so much. Um, but she is literally just an inspiration to me. She's amazing. Well, like Mickey just said, that's because she knows that you're awesome. And when you can see Aww. the power in somebody and you can see their passion and you know that they're themselves is holding themselves back, you really do want to see them succeed. And so helping them get to yeah. the next level. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I think Victoria says that Katie's been so supportive to her as well with her anxiety. She even managed to get her competition this year. And that's what it takes. So even if you don't have a salon team and you don't have maybe the family team, use us. Yeah. We want to see you. Oh succeed. my God. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You can message us. We message back. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love being able to like help people and, and obviously inspire them and, and tell them that anxiety you know it's not who you are it's like your mindset you do need to put it to the side and say not today and, and just push through it because you will always come out the other side of it definitely that's so true so when it comes to competitions and stuff do you have a specific product that you like to work with or do you use a variety um i use a variety um obviously i love doing my photographics at the minute so i'm constantly sculpting the nails out with acrylic um I have found a new found love with Nail Chemi's gel paints. Oh my gosh. Me too. It has, been, it has re-inspired me. And I've been doing this for 26 years. And mm -hmm. you guys all know my story with Nail Chemi. I'm serious. And I think Dave was just on here a little while ago. I'm serious yeah. when their brushes and that product has 
yeah. throwing me over here. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, um, yeah. I, I got sent the, um, the gel paints and I, I cannot fault them. And I've recently done a competition entry and I've used the gel paints, but it's so frustrating. Cause I said to Dave, I was like, obviously I've got some bits. I haven't got loads and I plan to get loads of nail chemi, but um, I'm like, I'll, I'll promote, you know, I help promote you. Cause I, I am about that. Like if there's brands like um, my friends, Sammy and Karen, they own Jellica gel polish and it is my all time favorite gel polish. It's, amazing jode will tell you she uses it it is amazing um and i just love helping promote like promoting new brands and stuff as well and if i get on with it i'm gonna rave about it definitely but um yeah i've told dave like i'm gonna promote i'm gonna promote but i've been so busy recently and obviously i have used it to do a competition but it's so frustrating because i can't share it yet because i have to wait but yeah. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I actually, I messaged Dave not too long ago and I said, Dave, I have a little bit of a goal that I want to do. I want to win anything using your products because I want, I want, I kind of, I don't know that I want to be the first one. I'm not competitive like that, but I want them to be able to say this design is award winning and they use our products for this yeah, because oh, yeah, you, definitely. I love supporting the companies that you know, the owners, you know, their work that goes into it. And they're not just buying products off of some internet site and then putting them out there with their label. Yeah. They're truly in the chemistry side of it and they're yeah. understanding it and working. And then their packaging as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I actually I bought the um, the horoscope glitter collection, and yeah. well, I like, get into work and I'm like, oh, I'll put them on. So obviously all my clients can see it, but um, oh yeah, I love it, absolutely yeah. love it. What I've used so far of nail chemi, I, I cannot fault it. The service obviously mm-hmm. is brilliant as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So those of you contact Dave or get on their nailcomy.com.uk. I, I, I know Dave can put the link in there and just take a look because it, they yeah. do ship worldwide as well. Victoria wants to know, um, are you doing Olympia in Manchester this year? Um, I am doing scratch shootout at Olympia. I'm not actually doing any competitions yet. That's a big one. That's a really big one. Um, maybe next year. Um, we'll see how things go. Because obviously it's been so, so busy from like the beginning of this year. May just went crazy for me. So I kind of took a little bit of a step back. But I'm kind of dwindling myself back up again. Because I'm terrible. I do push myself. I give myself a little bit of a break. But I'm like, no, that's enough. And then I, I push myself some more. But um I might be doing Manchester yet. I'm not, I'm not sure. So we'll see. see. Yeah. (laughs) Do you want to get to at some point in time where you're not competing? You might actually get banned from competing and only (laughs) invited as a judge, but do you want to get into the judging side of it? Um, I guess so. Yeah. I know there's a lot involved with judging and I did briefly speak to Katie about it and she's like, girl no you've got way too much more competing to be doing yet and I'm like oh my god (laughs) yeah Yeah. oh I love that I um Ella Washkick was one of my very first tech talk lives and it's such a great inspiration I followed her for years throughout her career and so she is one of those that I want to be a little starstruck I would love to be able to meet her and truthfully just give her a firm handshake a look in the eye a hug and say thank you so much you know being the extra push for me and uh, so Ella got to where she had won so many that there was the same thing she was like they're like you're you you you're not gonna be able to compete. <laughs> and so she went to the judging side of it and it it blew her away too, you know, because being a judge is so much different than what you would yeah, think, definitely. you know. I, I mean, I'd, I've been competing obviously for a few years and I've got like fourth place in a couple. And I think it was Christmas time last year. I said to myself, 2018, I'm gonna push myself and prove that I, I can do it. Um, and obviously I, I done loads of photographic competitions, like not only, sorry. 
but obviously I'd done one in Canada. Um, I'd done a course with Tracy Lee, which was amazing. That was at Gemma Lambert's, the nail team. Um, and she's, she, she actually pulled me aside and she gave me a little chin wag because she knows like how I can be and how like I get angry with myself sometimes and I get frustrated and um, she was amazing. And yeah, then I obviously done some ones in Australia and the Netherlands and I was actually on holiday the first week of May and I found out I'd won two. And then since then, it's just, it honestly, it, it's blown me away. It's completely blown me away. And then obviously Birmingham, I'd done four competitions in two days, one or four of them. And I mean, I remember saying to Layla, like on the day I was like, um, dreaming absolutely dreaming and she had a couple of tears I was crying Katie was crying and it just meant so much to me this year but mm. at the same time you get these massive highs and you're always going to get a couple of lows and that is when you do know you've got them real special people that will literally boot you up the bum tell you it's going to be okay and bounce you back up yeah so I, I, this stems back from way, way back in my life, but um, I, oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of embarrassed to say this. So I think it was like 2003 to 2005 or something. I had some clients of mine that signed me up for the Mrs. Wyoming pageant. I am not competitive. And by all means, I did not think that I needed to be in no swimsuit on a stage, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But when I started reading about the competition of it, I was like, uh, okay, I, I understand this. This is more based on interview and what you do in your community. And at the time of the, I was a president of the chamber of commerce. I'd been a business owner for many years, a powerhouse of a woman and that you still take care of yourself despite your health issues. And that is what got me. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, like you guys know, I have massive heart issues and stuff like that. Pacemakers and all this stuff. But I never let that help me back. I never got into letting health take over my mind yeah. takes over. And so I, they signed me up for this. So I received this package in the mail, not knowing that they have done this. And I'm blown away. I'm like, what, who, who did this? So I called the director and she was like, we were told to never tell you who it was. <laughs> and I was like, because they know I would contact them immediately and say, what the hell are you thinking? You know, anyways, yeah. I decided to give it a try and uh, push myself outside my box. But really I did it because I knew that it would give me a platform to be able to help motivate other women to quit, yeah. quit letting the health and the mindset hold you back and prove to it that it's not going to do that. It's not going to, you know, take over your yeah. life. And so it worked and I felt so good. And you talk about feeling like you're up on a platform, like you're this winner, you have an audience that all these people are listening to. I traveled our state and talked about women's health and I got connections and with hospitals that I had never had before that were like, you've inspired me. To go to this and it's amazing. But after all of that, and then you no longer have that little bit of fame, you feel mm -hmm. like you need to do something else to like rise up again, because you really like feeling that positive all the time. And then your yeah. phone's not. So, you know, talking about the highs and the lows of that, we don't know till we go out there. So you having all this fame this year doesn't mean that next year you're going to go and be able to blow it out of the water. Yeah, again. exactly. And yeah. To be honest, if I'm completely honest with you, I don't think I'd want to be up there all the time. You know, it, it sounds, obviously it's amazing, but I've done it this year and obviously I really pushed myself and entered as many competitions as I could. So obviously you can imagine all the, the time that I had sat at this chair right now, sitting there, you know, day in, day out, doing all these nail designs, and then obviously booking the photo shoots and stuff. It was really, really stressful. And then obviously it went quiet, waiting for the results and stuff. And yeah, yeah it, it was amazing. And I'm, I've got no words. I cannot believe what has happened to me this year. It is insane, but it, it's nice. It, you know, you're not in reality in a sense. You're on cloud nine and you know you need to be I like to be level so I'm kind of like doing my little competitions as and when I feel like it I don't think I will ever push myself the way I did this year definitely not 
<laughs> like, <laughs> but it you know, if, if people fun. can do that, you know, if techs can do that and really, you know, push themselves and do all of it, you know, all at once, then, you know, go for it. Absolutely go for mm -hmm. it. But yeah. you have to stay grounded as well. Because yeah. I've had lots of techs that I've interviewed or tech friends that I've known that were sensational at the end of nineties, all the way in the early two thousands. And then all these new stars come up and it's time for them to shine, but they feel like a has been. And it's like, no, no, no. Are you serious? Your knowledge that you have from all of these years and the products changing and understanding how the products are made, your knowledge and what's in your head is far more superior than any trophy on your wall. And so I'm yeah. like, no, you join me. Let's get in there and share this knowledge you have. And they're like, really me? Yeah, you, yeah. you know? And yeah. so it's always, I, it's interesting. All of us feel the same way, you know? We really yeah. do. But yeah, it's like, it. obviously Jode is, is here, Jode Taylor. Um, she's, she's amazing. And I keep saying to her, like, when are you going to start competing, Jode? And she's like, no, I'm not doing it. And I'm like, why? She's like, no, I'm not ready. And I'm just, I've told her she's got to. She's she, she's got to. She needs to because yeah. she she is amazing. She she is amazing, and she's, you know, she she acts all quiet and stuff, but she she knows, you know, she does know. She and she is good. She just needs that that push and the fact that I get people message me saying like you've inspired me to do this, and well, they ask me for advice. I'm like. You know, I'll, I'll tell them. I'll, I'll help as much as I can. You know, I think one person, I think it was last year, she said she was doing um, a competition and she was sending me steps that she'd done. And, and I'm just like, see, you can do it. You know, you can, you can do it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah just got to try it, right? Mickey yeah. says, how do you come up with your ideas and who does your photos? Um, so obviously the photographic, um, competitions that I've been doing, they are themed. Um, so I've done, I can't, I can't even think there's been a few, <laughs> um, but I find a lot of inspiration, obviously on Pinterest in magazines. Um, and also me and my photographer get together. My photographer is Arian Jonas and she is AJ photography. Um, and like I said, like she's never done anything like that before and from looking at our first photo we done together to, to like what she does now it's incredible it is wow. it's and we just i think when you do photographic competitions as well obviously you have a team it's not just you it's not obviously doing mixed media it's just you doing the design with photographic you've got yourself you've got your photographer your makeup artist your model and you need to be able to gel with them. You know, you need to be able to work well. And I mean, it's great because we have photo shoots at my house and I get loads of sweets in, loads of like, not alcoholic drink, but you know, fizzy pop <laughs> and all that. Well, you never know. It might come out at the end. <laughs> but yeah, you do, you do have to have that connection with your photographer and stuff. And like, we just get on yeah. so, so well. And I agree with Mickey, that fairy one I actually screenshotted that it's an inspiration to me as well. That fairy picture is phenomenal. Yeah. I was a little nervous because the fairy is actually butt naked. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, me, me and my photographer, because the theme was um, magical. And I thought, actually, do you know what? You can do all sorts. So I actually said to my photographer, I'll let you decide what kind of magical side you want to do. And she, she really wanted to do fairy. So obviously I went, I'd done all the nails and everything. And I really wanted to push myself with the shape. So I'd done my first butterfly shape. Because um, obviously that, wor I, that worked quite well with the fairy. And then obviously we, <laughs> we picked this fairy. Um, and I, I looked, I was like, oh my God, it's amazing. And then I realized she's butt naked, but obviously that won. And then it got the overall winner. So for next year's Perf Extravaganza nail competition, that photo will be used to promote the competition and it will be on a t-shirt and I was blown away. And my friend Gail, 
she got second place of her image as well. So to be able to celebrate with her and obviously celebrating with your friends when you, when you compete is amazing. Like, yeah, it's such a buzz. But yeah, yeah the, the fairy absolutely. one is... And then obviously it got front cover for Nail Couture magazine in Portugal as well. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just, I have a feeling that that one's going to be going viral for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary as well because obviously it is just the hand pose. Um, and that is what I was trying to figure out, I think, when I was competing this year with my fo photos, because it's quite hard when you start introducing a model space and you don't yeah. want like the same simple hand poses. You have to kind of jazz it up. So I did concentrate on just the hand poses. And then obviously I'm starting to introduce a model again, but it's all just like juggling it about and finding out what works and what doesn't work. But yeah, we, me and Ari are, like really proud of that shoot and that was my hand as well and I tell you I don't think I give my models enough credit because the poses <laughs> are hard yes, they're really yes, really yes. hard I think I don't know how many times I was like and I was getting cramped in my hand and I'm like oh my god I need to like massage my model's hands next time yeah it's crazy <laughs> And then hold it because we're going to take 250 pictures of this one edge. Of yeah, her and then she's going to move as well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So on a little side note, I have to read uh, Louise Bradshaw's message. It says, how amazingly inspiring ladies. I was diagnosed with brain condition two years ago, two weeks after starting the nail salon. And I, th I thought it was going to set me back so far. But these last two years has been the best career of my life or the best of the career so far. Because of texts like you who push themselves every day despite their circumstances, next year I have promised myself to do in, into competitions. Louise, I cannot wait to see you shine. And I'm so glad that you're rising above and not you're not letting this hold you back. Not one bit. That's I'm yeah. I'm very proud of you. Thanks for sharing that with yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Because obviously you see people in the industry on social media. And obviously a lot of people don't talk about like their issues. Like I don't, not obviously a lot of people know that I suffer with anxiety, but it's not something I really delve into. Um, and like I said, when I had my son, I didn't know what was going on. I felt that I was going crazy um, to the point where I actually got my husband to take me to A&E um, because I thought I was going absolutely Barmy, the amount of times I've had panic attacks and had ambulances out to me um, and to feel that you are on your own but now obviously it is spoken about a little bit more but I think it needs to be spoken about more because people do suffer and it does stop them from doing what they want to do but it is a whole it's all a mindset and it is so incredibly hard to get out of it but with support it can be done a lot, like I said, a couple of weeks ago when I was feeling really, really down, the girls were just, I can't express to you enough. Like I literally owe them so much for just being there to pick up the, you know, the phone to speak to me. It's, you know, and you should always push yourself. You should, you should definitely push yourself. You've got nothing, nothing to lose when you compete. It's so true. Yeah, absolutely. Day to day, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, Scarlett, we have taken up an hour of time already, and I could honestly talk and laugh with you all day. This has definitely been the funnest tech talk, I have to say. No, oh, oh, with the dog. But I have, <laughs> I have won the favorite on my floor. Yeah. I want to see your nails so bad. Is Could you possibly show us your nails? I, I can, but I need to put like two of them down because I'm actually in the middle of infilling them, but they are the two. Oh, yes, yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's Love it. And so do you do your own? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had yeah. these on for the Scratch Awards. Which was crazy. Think, Me and Layla got a little bit drunk. Just a little. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we have to let loose and have fun. We have to celebrate life, you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, definitely. 
Yeah, so. absolutely. So Jode says that she will always be there for anyone that needs a chat. And so Jode, again, thank you guys for joining in and yeah. just being so positive in an industry that we feel like can take us down. No, it yeah. doesn't. It's um, with our mindset, like what you said. You know, I was talking about um, earlier, it, it's kind of funny that we, you can kind of look at the nail industry in a way of like a bad hair day. We can do the exact same product every single day. We can do the exact same curling technique every single day, sleep in the same pattern every single day. But some days you just have a bad hair day. You cannot control it. The weather, maybe your hormones, something has come in and taken your hair of the same technique, same product you always do, and made it crazy. Ride yeah. with it. Own it yeah. and say, today yeah. is my bad hair day. You just day. have to wing it. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Definitely. What's that? We are all creative yeah. souls. We are. We yeah, are. Absolutely. And Layla, yeah. cocktail. You and I, you taught September. Um, I get to meet Layla. And actually, oh, in, um, you're going to love her. I'm so excited. excited. I'm not going on the cruise. Oh, you're not. Oh, there's still time to sign up. You can still join us. Mm, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe next year. If it happens next year. <laughs> the hairy fairy. <laughs> I have it most. Own it. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, Scarlett, thank you so much for spending your um, evening with us. I appreciate you so much, not only in the nail industry, but just as humble um, sweetheart that you are. And uh, it, even with your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dogs won't be here next time. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. It's, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Speaking of next time, I would love to have you a guest anytime. And so if there's a time that comes year from now to when you're kind of uh you know being able to be in that spotlight again and and give it a whirl i would love to have you come on again on tech talk oh thank you thank you so for those of you that want to stay on in um another hour i'm going to be live again today's a back-to-back -back. i have paul Gehrman coming on and he's going to talk about nail tech tables and some of the supplies that we have as well the air and all of that so if you guys want to hang on and come join me with paul he is a hoot he makes me laugh every time i talk to him so another great person in our industry that's making changes and making it easier for us nail techs and then next week we have erica schlaback coming on and she has some um, e-file bits and stuff like that that we get to talk about and get more educated um so we uh, i have to thank kim who is on our tech talk worldwide group kim's in our admin and we discovered that we can do units now in our groups and kim every time she has time in between clients is uploading all these tech talks and all the lives that we've done in an organized way in the units so you guys can go to the unit section of our group and just easily find a video or a tech talk or anything like that. And so Kim, thank you for taking the time to do all of that. And then we were talking about Nail Kami earlier and some of these other product lines. Well, they love to give us promo codes. So in our list section, Sammy keeps those updated. So every time somebody gives us a current promo code, that gives you savings. You can save from 10% to 25% off of your orders. Crystal and Parade so actually, um... Yeah, Crystal Parade have a promo code, actually. I'll have to tell you that one. Yeah, so send it over, and then um, I'll get it to Sammy because she keeps, she keeps that going yeah. for us. It takes a whole team of us to keep this page organized. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's working. Yes, absolutely. And so, anyways, I, I can't thank you again, Scarlett, for, for, for getting over everything and, and just trusting me that these people wanted to meet you because you guys, she no. didn't want to do this. Like, oh, they've been you? lovely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much. And you're going to have to send us a picture of your dogs. It's a must. Oh, I will. <laughs> I <do. All> right. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me. Such a delight. Thank you so much. All right. You guys have a great day. <laughs>